In this movie, we're going to talk about masks and channels. Where layers hold the artwork in Photoshop, channels hold color information and masking information. Every image has a composite channel. In this case, because it's a red, green, and blue image, it has an RGB composite channel. And it has a separate red channel, a separate green channel, and a separate blue channel. And I'm getting these channels to come up by clicking in the middle here of each one. Click in the middle of the RGB composite, they all come on, and you see the image in RGB. I want to select this little girl here, the statue of the little girl. I'm going to use the magic wand tool, and I'm going to make the tolerance pretty high. Hit the Enter key, type 75, click the Enter key again, and I'm going to click here. And that does a pretty good job of selecting her. You see there are things that I've missed here. I'm also going to hold down the command and the space bar, control space bar, and just to bring up the zoom key, drag around here so I can enlarge on here. I'm going to reduce the tolerance of the magic wand tool now by hitting the enter key, make it 25, hit the enter key again, and I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on some of these areas to try to get a few more things back into my selection. And there, that's working pretty well. Now I'm not going to worry too much about this. Okay, just because... Is that going to help? Now that helps a little bit. I, just because I'm going to clean this selection up by using the Quick Mask tool. Now Quick Mask starts down here. There's an icon second from the bottom in the toolbar. If I click it, she becomes red. If I double click, I get the Quick Mask options. By default, it's, it covers the selected areas. The color by default is red because in the old days of mechanical reproduction, people used to use a ruby lith to block things out. And you can see if you click on it, on the color picker, you can get whatever color you want here. I'm going to cancel that. And the opacity is by 50%. I'm going to click OK. I can also use the keyboard shortcut, which is the letter Q. And now I'm going to switch to my brush. And I want to make sure that I have black on my foreground. And I'm going to paint with my brush. And I have a hard-edged brush here because my selection is pretty hard-edged. And as I paint over here, you can see that she fills in. I can also use the command spacebar trick to get even bigger in here. And I can drag my brush along here and clean this up. And I want to get this nice and clean to get rid of all these little spaces and gaps. Come around here, clean this up. Get this. Looks, looks like I missed a little area over here. It's a little hard to tell because it's so dark right here. But I think this is part of the statue right here come around. And this is not. So to get rid of things that are not part of the statue, I'm going to hit the X key to switch to white in any place where I don't want to include part of my selection. Like if I go down here into some of these flowers here, again, I want to get rid of these flowers. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to outline them in white. Now it doesn't really matter when I get out past the statue, but make the brush a little smaller here because this is a rather small flower space. And I'm going to paint along here and I'll paint along here. And all this kindergarten training and staying inside the lines when you colored, well, here we are, doing it again. Once I get that outlined, I can then make my brush much larger. I can come around here and I can just get rid of all this stuff with a big brush. I'm still being a little bit careful. I can't just indiscriminately paint. Um, I can use the Command or the Control key and the Minus key to get back in here and get some of this other stuff. And I can make the brush even bigger go over these areas in one swoop. And I can't I think that is part. I think what I just did, let me command the other. I think I think what I just did was part of the statue. So I'm going to just catch this in here. And again, I'll use the hand space bar to bring up the hand tool. Come back in there. Um, I got to get this guy out of here too as well. Come around try to clean as much of that as I can before I make the brush smaller. I'll make this, make this bigger. Hit the plus key. You can make it bigger using command or control with the plus, which will also enlarge this. And zoom, swing around here. Get that cleaned up. Get the brush just a little bit smaller here. Get in there. And you again, I'm using the space bar to bring up the hand tool, which will, you know the space bar allows me to go to the hand tool from any other tool without leaving that tool. And that's a handy little thing to know and a very quick way to clean up. I got that flower out of there. I'm going to switch, hit the X, switch back, and color in here. And I've got some areas here which I don't think are part of the 
Uh, I'll paint that out of there. Well, uh, that might have been part of the statue. It's a little hard to tell here, and that's part of the statue. Command Z back in, and I'll. That's definitely not. That is. I think I can lose that safely. I've got this area here. Make sure that I've got black up. I want to catch this area down in here. Fill that in. Um, I've got a little bit too much in here, so I'm going back to white. And let's erase this stuff. Get that cleaned up. Again, make the brush a little smaller. Come in here. Come along. Cleaning up. Cleaning up. It may take you some time to do all the painting, but this is a this is a this is not a bad way to clean up. Whoops! Z, the X. Fill that in. It's part of the statue. Get that cleaned up in there. How am I doing up here? Uh, looks like I'm a little bit outside the mark here. Clean up these little pixel areas here. Come around the head. I missed one there. I missed a spot there. Now some of these spots will clean up. When I'm going to show you something else about making a mask, clean that up. Clean that up. I think we're pretty good. Oops, I missed some of the edge here. Some of the arm. Drawing with a mouse is like drawing with a brick. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. Get the edge. I want to make sure I get all the outlines and the edges complete with my brush tool. Make my brush a little smaller here so I can get a little bit closer, a little easier. Coming down. Come in there, clean that up. One little area here to clean up inside the arm. Unfortunately, there's so much green reflecting off the leaves that it colors the concrete of the statue a little bit and gives it a little bit of a cast. So, And then I'm going to clean this out because this is not part of the statue. That's a, that's a flower back there. And go back to black and I'm going to go and just get that area and get this area. And here I have my statue. And I'm commanding the minus key to get back. And I think I've got a pretty good job here. Oh, no, I missed a flower over here. Let me come in there. Switch to white come down here. Now I can switch back and forth by the way between my selection and my quick mask if I need to. Sometimes it's useful to do that. And let me just make that a little bit smaller. There we go. And so if I want to see my selection hit the Q and that's not too bad. I want to leave that where it is. There are a few things to fix and I'll show you how to fix those in a minute. Now that I've made my selection, and I've got this all painted in with my quick mask, I'm going to go to select, I'm going to go all the way down to save selection. I'm going to click here in the save selection dialog box, it gives me a document. The channel, I want it to be a new channel. They're, these channels don't mean anything to me right now. Um, I'm going to call this girl. It's going to be added as a new channel, and I'll click OK, and there's my channel. And I can deselect now. This appears as an alpha channel. Alpha channels are a lot more intimidating in sound than they are in actuality. They're really pretty simple. An alpha channel simply means a channel that does not contain color information. This channel contains masking information. Adobe had to call it something, so they picked alpha channel. But it doesn't mean, it's not an intimidating thing, it's just a name for something. I want to select my alpha channel by clicking in the middle of it. And you can see all the spaces that I missed here. And I'm just going to take white and paint over the channel to clean it up, okay, in these areas where I, sh I want white completely. Come around there, come around in here, okay, I see I some areas that I missed, and I can come around there, and I will come down here, and I'll get this area in there. A place, where, any place where I have, any place where I have white spots on black, of course, I simply hit the X, switch to black, paint that spot out. Got a little spot here. I'm doing pretty well here in terms of the background and getting rid of things. And I've cleaned up my mask now. And if I can make it bigger, Command Plus, 